Hi, and welcome to PRA 7 Reviews. Today we're talking about the Power Oak Powerhouse uh, 400 watt solar generator. Um, as you can see right next to it, I do have the Gold Zero Yeti uh, 150. Um, but I wanted to take advantage of being able to use any solar panel. Um, you can see in the background there, I have a 100 watt solar panel. And the Yeti will actually, or the Gold Zero, will only allow, um, to my knowledge, using their, their made solar panel, or the ones that they produce. Um, so I went with this, and this was um, the 400 watt, it was around 390 bucks, where say the Yeti 150, um, it's probably about half that price, but the Yeti 400 is not a lithium ion battery and still costs more than this powerhouse. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this up. All right, let's take a closer look. This is the 400 watt solar generator. Uh, this is the actual device here itself. Uh, weighs about 12 pounds. Uh, here's the inputs um, where you actually hook it to the solar panels or AC adapter um, or actually the car jumper. These are your DC outputs, USB, and um, cigarette adapter. And then here are your two AC outlets. Some of the cables that come with the device are a pair of jumper cables. Uh, it could be handy. Um, so obviously this is a way to charge it. And then here is the normal uh, adapter so you can plug it in in the wall. Um, here's another view of the box. Just a little bit about the box, what's there. Um, and so one of the primary reasons I wanted this is its compatibility with most solar panels, uh, 12 volt. Um, so here I have a single uh, 100 watt solar panel, 12 volt. And so this is the other cable that it comes with right here. Uh, so I have it connected to the solar panel have the connector here and it's as simple as plugging into the unit. Uh, I hold this button down for a minute and it'll come on and give it a second and it'll tell you that it is charging. It does not tell me how many watts it's getting yet. There we go. 20, 30, um, it is kind of a cloudy day. Uh, we do not have direct sun. And obviously this is going to fluctuate depending on where. Um, Try to get you a good angle here. The amount of input is going to fluctuate depending on your sun. So actually the sun's coming out a little bit more. You can see that it's going up to 24. And there's an air cloud. Um, you can uh, put solar panels in line, um, meaning you can connect more than one together uh, to boost your uh, input. I am planning on doing that at some point. Um, again, here's the solar panel I have. And to get you a little bit of information about this one, it's a uh, Doesn't say a whole lot, but it's got the typical junction box, typical connectors. I did buy um, a 50 foot extension, and uh, that's really nice. So I can actually have the battery pack inside. And I'm gonna slowly put this back down. Um, this is not where I'm normally gonna have this. But, um, anyways. Please let me know if you have any questions. 
Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, apologize about the focus here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.